Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the NCAP America mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokola, but right now, I'll basically just basically finish off the war in Europe. I don't know, I got kind of bored with this campaign. Um, it's doing really well. I did take up pretty much all the territory. Um, I did uh, have to use consequence for manpower because private armies, they don't really give you enough, but at this point, um, I'm just pretty much going to see what else we can do here. Um, let's see what happens. FA, sure, why not? Incorporate Mexico? Why not? What does that do with Mexico? Oh. Where are they gone now? Um, Caribbean Anarchy? We could do that. Sure, why not? Central American Anarchy? Sure, why not? Um, we have to be at peace for this stuff. Real initiative? Well, let's do focus. Dot, no checks. Obviously, you can tell us the video's not very long, but at this point, I'm just kind of like, kind of done. Avoid South America? I don't really want to do that one, but the real initiative sounds like fun. Divide Iran. Money in Southwest Asia. I like cores. What do the... What do the workers of Southwest Asia need? American businesses telling them how to live their lives, obviously. This is going to be very good for my bank account. Our customer. Our rival. Well, our customer. Why not? And the final step, of course. Um, and oh, and the riots, of course, like that one. Um, but really, I just wanted to see what the rest of the focus would be like. This stuff is... All this other stuff is pretty much all the same as it normally is. But, and the state. Cool. Ending the state. With Ford and the Business Federation now completely in control of the region once known as US of A, it's time to give the companies and workers the freedom they deserve. Today we announce the end of the oldest system and the beginning of something new. Remove home of the free, add a stateless state. US Steel Corporation. With the fall of the old government, powerful companies begin establishing their own orders in various regions they control. US Steel has consolidated power in the Northeast and now serves as a sort of suit of government for this area of the people. Hmm. Pacific Trading Company. The West Coast states and the Pacific Holdings are now under United Pacific Trade Company, led by aspiring businessman J. Paul Getty. Currently, the holdings remain loyal to the British Federation, but they are free to part ways if they ever become more profitable. The Golden Circle. No one really knows what to think of the company now taking on the name of the Golden Circle, unlike the PTT and the U.S. Steel, to operate more of a semi or mini federation inside of the Greater Business Federation. Oh, so that's it? Oh, let's see what we have here, too. Oh, or anything else that really concerns ourselves right there? Nope. Nice. So over here we have Paul Getty, as we saw earlier. Marco capitalist. Very cool. Uh, we have U.S. Steel, which doesn't include any part of India, which makes this border look very weird with Michigan and then Ohio. Oh, they have their own unique focus tree too. Look at that. Empire Steel. And then we have the Golden Circle as well. Led by James Allred, so I guess technically the U.S. Steel only has this. So let's take a look. Teabag, teabag, Zus. That's kind of cool that they have their own unique focus tree, but um, U.S.S. New Economic Age. Build for Enterprise. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, that's fine. Ah, uh, getting complete. Anyways, oh, now uh, the Northeast has always been transformed into something that cannot be solely described as a narco capitalism. We must stabilize the situation, sign how this new system under U.S. Steel rule will operate. Grabbed an important blacklist. Certain goods of conflict with the U.S. steel business interests must be embargoed. Allowing competitors in, st in makes no sense to our current situation. An army of steel? Uh, Pittsburgh were born. As the U.S. Steel Corporation consolidates power, it becomes increasingly obvious that New York City can no longer serve as the capital of new corporatocracy. Fairless and other company executives have already drafted plans to move the business HQ to Pittsburgh, and now it's time to execute, execute those plans. Purchase additional territory. U.S. Steel's influence stretches far from our current borders. It would be wise to grab some of these lands before the Federation can really settle in. As long as we can get the Federation to agree, then we may directly assert control on more of the former U.S. of A. Except. Oh, look at West Virginia and Maryland. Look at that. Uh, that looks a little better, I suppose, but having Michigan looks really awkward. The Ottawa Revolution versus Integrate Ottawa. Well. Oh, we go straight to war with Uni Unitary Can- Oh. Future U.S. Steel. Anarchy lives on. Empire Steel. We ask for stuff. Do we immediately go to war? Why would we want to do that? Oh, where are we war the, the... What? Why are we war those guys? Anyways. Um, path's not yet finished. Okay, well... I guess there's nothing really there yet, so, uh, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I should have waited to play this mod, but whatever. Well, I guess we go with Empire Steel. Servants of the Machine. Emperor Fairness. Fairless, I mean. So we become fat... We're becoming fascist in the end. Friends in Europe, nothing there. The Pittsburgh Legion, Steel Guard, Industrial Capital, the Governor System, the Cross Rubicon, because we're in the Business Federation, Shoring Old America. What is America? Alright, well, that's interesting. And what type of divisions do we get from these guys then? Steel Infantry, so these guys are 20 combat with, which are okay. Tracks of Steel, 18 combat with, which is okay. And uh, 16 combat with as well. So, all this stuff seems to be okay. 
Anything here unique? Not really. All that stuff is done. If you want to read about these stuff, please go right ahead. But I think that's pretty much it for us here. I don't think anyone else really has anything too interesting. Henry Ford was a lot of fun to play as, though. Yeah, no new focus tree. I'd love to see the Golden Circle or something. But I think that's pretty much where we're going to leave it here. Yeah? Free corporate commonwealth. Huh. Regardless, if you enjoyed this short video and the campaign overall, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.